Where are you going? See? Do you guys think Sam sneaks away to get coffee? <laughs> are you sneaking away to get coffee? Yeah. See, yesterday was a special day. It just takes one coffee, store-bought coffee, before you're hooked again. It's an addiction. At Gabby's home today, her bus got canceled. Here, Allie. Kelsey's coat got pooped on, so it is in the wash. Sam has to go and get a new round bale today. When we ordered our round bales, we ordered five, and they lasted us till February, the beginning of February, and then the guy doesn't deliver in the winter. <laughs> so he has to go and pick up the round bale every month. So Sophie had a dream last night. What'd you dream? A baby. There's a baby. But I know there isn't because I've been watching the camera. The all dreamed baby goats now, like all of us. Sophie dreamed it was buried under the under the hay. And there's an egg in my hair. <laughs> Somebody's screaming. They're like, just give me the food. And we're like, let's assess the udder. Sophie's looking under the hay. She's like, I know there's a baby. Check the udder. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around, Chubbo. She's like, what? <laughs> All right, let's get the grain she first. She has a beard, I hate it. Does she actually have a beard? Yeah, Aww. you see it? I'm, I'm chopping, oh God. You saw it? I'm chopping it off. Summertime, it's going. You don't get a beard. Oh, don't headbutt her. What the heck? Let's check your udder. Oh, it's looking a little looking, bigger. Are you thinking wide? Our other goats are due in March. I want eggs. I want and only one is due now. So we're gonna see what today brings you guys, but I believe it'll bring a baby. Or at least this weekend. We got two goose eggs in a row. So Sophie's excited and thinks she's gonna get another. Nope, false alarm. But it's amazing how like Sam has been dreaming. Oh shoot, I need to bring the cat food down here. Sam has been dreaming about Baby goats, he dreamed that he found two brown babies up in the horse field. And then I dreamed, uh, two times I've dreamed baby goats. I've dreamed like, it's funny how you dream like who you are. Like I dreamed that the first baby was born and it was perfect, everything went well. Then the second time I dreamed she had three and she refused to feed one. So then we were dealing with that. Sam dreamed that he found baby goats up in the horse field. All right, let me just feed these guys before everybody goes crazy. Get in there, come on. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted. But looking back, I can see it's all clear. I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me. But nothing makes sense anymore. Let's talk colors, okay you guys? Like, I just want a cute goat. <laughs> just one cute goat. I know colors are not what it's all about, but I really like to discuss colors and think about colors and imagine what the colors will be. Look at how chubby this girl is. These guys are chocolate with frosted ears and a frosted nose. So they're pure chocolate. These guys are both Broken Chamose. So a Chamose is basically her color. Um, and it's characterized by black legs, a black underbelly, and then a black stripe down their back. So see? And he's got that too. And it's broken because it's got patches of white. Okay, so we have two chocolates, two Chamose. So over here, what are you noticing? Are you noticing that this coat also has black legs? A black stripe down its back and black on its underbelly. Yep, it's true. She is a broken chamose with white overlay. And you can see some of the chamose color in her belly sticking out there. And around on her neck, that's the chamose color. Broken chamose with white overlay. And so this girl also has the black stripe and the chamose color. She doesn't have the black legs. Or the, does she have the black underbelly? No. Oh, I don't know. All I know is that we have a whole lot of Chamose color in our in our little farm. Well, these are our actual Chamose. Color. Yeah, these ones are for sure. I mean, these ones look the most Chamose. When I got her, 
I was looking through my camera roll. She was so, like, thin. Yeah. And her coat was so, like, short. Yeah. And she always had her ears perked up, like, what's going on? Where am I? <laughs> and now she just cries. Yeah. She doesn't cry. She talks. She's a talkative goat. She yells at us to get us When she has babies one day, she'll be probably very loud in labor, and she'll probably talk she, to her babies. She will. Because she's a talking goat. She's like Laura. Laura can talk well, and talk and talk. I her from her brothers. I know. I would have taken her brothers, too. I would not. We do not need any if more they boys. they were girls, they would be coming home with us. Oh. I mean, we just wanted to have the experience of, rec of rescuing a goat from the meat market because all the other ones there go for meat. Went for meat. And she got rescued. And there are times where... Our choices we made. <laughs> Sophie says it's one of the best choices we ever made and I was about to say it's one of those choices that I question still to this day oh, she's yeah. like what don't you love me and I do love her she is so sweet but she's a little bit annoying just, just a little bit <laughs> she's so loud all the time but he used to be really loud too now he's just annoying now he's just annoying because goats are annoying it's in the genes all goats have the annoying gene but she has really cute frosted ears. Yeah. Whoa, be hey, nice. Rocco. <laughs> we put food three spots for them so that, that if he pushes her off, then she goes to the second spot or the third spot. She gets enough food. She's a chunky girl. Anyway, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited today. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Gabby's home. It just feels like a weekend to me. And it almost is the weekend. So I want to invite you to put your favorite horse movie. Can be old, can be new. We've watched a lot of horse movies in our in our day. But comment your favorite horse movie below so that this weekend we can have a horse movie marathon. The girls and Sam and I. It's something that I really want to do. Get ready for horse season. She said you tricked me. I was scratching her and I started scratching her belly and then I her and she's like, ah! <laughs> you Look how cute she is. Sophie and I both love these two the best. Okay, it's because when we got them, they were the least, like, they were not, they weren't the least friendly. Tilly would come up to us. Remember? These two were the scaredest, and now they're the friendliest. Yeah, so she never taught her babies to be, like, scared of us, or at least she didn't. You know, these guys are so big now. Our babies are so big now that I can't even tell the difference. We can hardly tell the difference. One has a collar on, one breaks out. Yeah, she's a slightly a bit longer bodied. That's and it. And her horns are bigger. And her horns are bigger. That is it. And she's fatter. And she's fatter. But look at them both from the top. You can't tell. Yeah, like you can't tell. I mean, you can right now because she looks really fat and she just looks a little bit chubby. I mean, she doesn't even look chubby, this girl. Yeah, she asks for scratches. This is this is what I do. I, <laughs> she just I, draws the line when you're touching her her under parts. <laughs> she, <laughs> she she tried to buck you. Me. Yeah. She's like, mm -hmm. oh, look she at never does that. look at Tilly. She, she's still Tilly's like, are they getting more than me? Each, each your I have hay cubes in there, and they don't like them. I gave them hay cubes instead of hay pellets, alfalfa hay cubes instead of alfalfa hay pellets, and they say no, they don't like it. So there are no white goats. Isn't that weird? There are no white horses and there are no white goats. All the white goats in this breed, at least, are called cream color. All right, let's let everybody out. All right, open the door. You open the door. You op I, I let them out. That's All my right. job. My job. It is cold today, you guys. You know it is cold when Sam puts a fire on. I had to wash Sophie's coat last night because a chicken pooped on it. Turned out perfect that Sam put on a fire. I can hang her coat right here and it can get dried off. All right, so what do you need? Hold I'm on. I'm gonna put on this tattoo. I All right. It You're gonna put on a tattoo? This one. I don't know love? what it says. It says love, L-O-V-E. You can't well, read backwards? Learn, no. I'm gonna learn um, French while you're on. 
Do you want to learn French? Because I can teach it to you. Uh, we have workbooks and everything. I want to do it by myself. Well, there's an app. Because then it feels like a chore and I don't want to do it again. Yeah, there's an app. A really good app. Cool. I'll give it to you. I'll send it to you. Go, go! She's like, I want a tattoo. <gasps> Ruby! <laughs> ow, ow, Daisy, stop digging your nails into me. <laughs> Ruby. Like, I love her little butt. It's just so cute. She looks like an actual person with those little legs standing down there. She said I love you before. I know. She says, I love you. <laughs> Ruby's like, love me too. You're probably wondering why did Sophie get pooped on by a chicken? Well, we have a sick chicken. Every once in a while, like not very often, like maybe three in the history of all of our years with chickens, we've had a sick chicken. And what happens is that because of chicken dynamics, the weakest bird will kind of get pushed away. Like I've been talking about this in everything. In every species, there's always survival of the fittest. And this little girl, I think it's a girl, although the last time I saved a chicken, turned into our rooster and he bites me now. So if they don't get enough food or they don't eat often enough, it can make them a little bit weak. So we noticed her standing off to the side yesterday and we were like, mm, she looks suspicious. So we brought, she was all tucked up underneath the heat lamp trying to get warm. So we brought her in to see if we could help her out. And we gave her our special concoction of vitamins and we syringed it into her. And then today she's standing up and she's been walking around. She's been eating her food a little bit more. And She's doing a lot better. But unfortunately, Sophie got pooped on in the process of bringing her inside. So uh, yeah, that happened. I'm like, where are the horses? They're in this field here. It is freezing. Sam said the horses broke out of the field today, but not out into the... I thought they broke the fence. And then, and then when I brought the big round bale, they all started running to the round bale. I'm like, oh, I'm um, But I fed them, I, I fed them hay in the round bale area and then they were in the barn because they fed hay in the barn yeah and they all decided to go to the barn horses are like children i'm telling you now they don't make any sense but they got into one of the fields that we had closed off for winter so he had to go and rescue them and now i notice that the goats are wandering around i the goats get me because goats are really really picky so if i throw hay in their feeders yesterday and they don't eat it all. Well, today it's old, so they're not gonna eat it. So they literally eat the choiciest pieces of, oh, I know it's freezing. They literally eat the choiciest pieces of hay and leave the rest. And then if you are like, oh, too bad, you're gonna have to eat that hay there until it's all gone, which I'm not like that. But if you do that, do that because I have tried it. Because if I have, to, because I have tried it, Male, male. They go wandering around looking for more hay because they're not happy with the hay that I left them. Sam says that he saw a bunch of coyote tracks yesterday. And I know a lot of people are saying we need a livestock guardian animal. Uh, it'd be difficult for a lot of reasons because one, they need a lot of training, a lot of training. You don't just get a livestock guardian dog, put it in your field and poof, it's trained and knows what to do. It's, it's, it's the lot is involved. We need a guardian donkey. We need a guardian donkey. Um, but I do take solace in the fact that um, we have never seen a coyote pass our fence line. And I know that a coyote can pass a six foot fence. We have like 10 feet fence in the very, very back where it's more likely that they would come over. And I feel like our animals are super protected through the fence in the daytime. And then they're all locked up at night in the winter. In the summer, it's not as big of a deal because there's plentiful food. So they're not less likely to come searching in your barnyard for food because they can just find it out in the, in the wild. It is Thursday and we are headed out to get some groceries because all the buses were canceled today. You're probably wondering why were the buses canceled, Laura? There's not even any snow. There's no snow. <laughs> snow is coming. So they're anticipating canceling lessons tonight too, which I'm kind of hoping that they do because it's freezing. We finally have Uncrustables in Canada. First time ever. So Gabby's getting these chocolate ones. We bought the Uncrustables. They are $6 for four. $6 for four. We just bought four Uncrustables for $6. I can't even get over that. Do yourself. Yeah, I think we should look into making it ourselves because Here's that's insane. Bread. 
Tell and you can just get like a cookie cutter to cook, yeah. put it together. Mm. We paid six dollars for four sandwiches and it's only a half the sandwich. Doesn't even have all the bread. All right, it is time for chores. All right, here we go. It's a blizzard. Riding lessons got canceled. It's a blizzard. Go slow, Sophie. Even in a blizzard, animals animals need care. It's literally a blizzard. So hey, at the store for those today, because yeah. those are special. Today I like small piece bought a melon so that we could feed our chickens. A treat? Are you gonna throw it in? Sure. They love it. I don't want to feed a chicken. Throw them as far back as you can. Put some far back. So the problem with the chickens is that that rooster attacks me all I the time now. He doesn't just attack me, he literally bites me. Like I'm just standing in there and all of a sudden he just goes for my leg. So he's progressed into being a biting boy. He's cute. He's cute. So even though it's a blizzard outside and- I don't think we got any roosters out of this batch. And like the ones that have combs have like that size of comb. Yeah, and they're not red. And normally they have like Pablo's comb. Yeah. So By now. Even though we literally are freezing to death, Aww. this is like the biggest blessing ever for us. Like <laughs> over Einstein we cheese. just love this. Like we just love looking at them. Alright, we gotta go on cold. Me too. Alright. One feed down, one more to go for us. Sam and Gabby are in the horse barn. Remember I told you guys that when we lived at our old barn when we had the horses? It would be that Sophie fell. No. It'd be so cold and blizzardy like this, and I hate the cold. Woo! Why okay, I always go on hills. And I would be like, oh no! If we had more animals, would I like hate having to take care of them? Yes. <laughs> no. And the truth is, I have enjoyed every single second of this winter doing chores and caring for the animals. Like I love the horses and I miss the horses. Every time I'm with them, my heart gets so happy. Where are the duck and the goose? Oh, what happened? Oh, please let... Oh, well, the duck and the goose are missing. Good girl. Good girls. Wow. You know it's cold when I have to give everybody fresh water. Shoot. Oh. I feel bad for everybody. I hate that their house is full of snow now though. I want to snuggle them. Ellie, get out of there. Wait, look, look how cold I know. I oh, know we so made that for you. Did she lay an egg? Did she? No. Lay an egg, I said. It's cold. But I still love this. I still love every second of it. It's honestly like when we had the little farm, I didn't have to invest myself totally. Like it was so so cold. We just had to run down, throw the horses in, poof, we were done. Maybe I could have seen it all coming That I wouldn't grow wiser for each day Am I the only one lost in translation Where nothing makes sense anymore
drink it before. <laughs> High five! No! High you five. are destined to hurt me! Ow! <laughs> Wait, no! The whole thing that really so hurts! It's cool! She see me in Brooklyn high five. So, we both go up <laughs> Anyway, it's cold today, and Can when it's cold, it? yeah, we're fast. But I wanted to tell you guys something really quick before we end today's video. Recently, I saw a comment that said that someone notices that Sophie stands around and lets me do all the hard work. No, I do work. I do all the work in the horse barn too. Yeah, Sophie does chores in the horse barn that you guys don't see. Sophie does double chores. She, her chores are horse chores. And then my chores are goat oh, chores, but she comes every day to help me with the goats. But I wanted to say this. One, that comment was not intended to be mean. The lady was being very kind. She wasn't being derogatory or unkind at all. But when she said that, it made me start to think about truly what I feel about that. And this is what I have to say. All of God's creatures have a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some stand out proud on a telephone wire and some just clap their hands. So I always think about that. I told you guys before, I think about that all the time and I believe we all have different roles and different, different aptitudes and different personalities and different jobs in this, in this life. And we're all meant to be different. And Gabby and I are the ones that are moving faster and doing the work and getting it done. And Sam and Sophie are more supervisory kind of people. And that's okay. We all have a place in the world. And Sophie and I are getting along really well in our division of work and I appreciate all that she brings to this choir and I hope she appreciates everything that I bring to this choir. So I just wanted to say that so that if you ever find yourself in a time when you're feeling like someone else isn't pulling their weight, you can think about how everybody has a different job to do and everybody has different skills and if you're the one pulling all the weight, it's because you can. Anyway. That is it for today's video. I'm going up there and Sam and I are going to watch a movie. Got a special movie for us to watch tonight, um, which is super special because we don't like the same kind of movies, but he got one special just for me and for him to watch together. So we're going to go and, and live out the rest of this blizzard watching a movie. And lessons got canceled tonight because of the blizzard. When you live in Canada, everything gets canceled because of the weather. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?